This is our second video in the sequence of how to wire a day night switch. So very simply, this would be a typical setup at your home or your office. You've got a switch and you've got a light source. You will have a neutral wire going to your light source and you will have your live wire going to your light source. And when you switch the light on, it behaves exactly like that. It will come on. When you switch it off, it goes off. Switch it on, it goes on. Switch it off, it goes off. So this is a day night switch with a mounting bracket. You can see what it looks like. There's different types of day night switches, but as mentioned in the first video, they all do exactly the same thing essentially. The only thing to be cautious of is really the amp rating, which is what determines how many lights or light sources you can operate with one single day night switch. Let's show you inside the day night switch. Here we can see the terminals and this is where one must pay attention because this is, where, this is where one could easily get confused if you've never wired a day night switch before. So your first terminal on the left hand side has a terminal marked LI. Your middle terminal has an N for neutral and the third and last terminal has a LO. LI stands for load in N is for neutral and L is for load out. Where there is a green yellow earth wire present from both the light source as well as the supply side, connect them to each other. Metal light fittings generally all have an earth wire. On the other hand, PVC light fittings generally don't have an earth wire. Also note that the load in wire in some instances might be a brown wire in color and the neutral wire blue in color. Where the confusion not normally happens is in the traditional wiring you have your three wires alive, neutral and earth. So we tend to get confused thinking that there's three terminals, one representing each wire. I'm going to show you how to wire this correctly. So make sure you have a nice small flat point electrical screwdriver because these terminals are very small and I've got my nice steer multi-function screwdriver here. Okay, so back to the terminals. So LI live in is exactly that. It's a single wire into one terminal. Make sure that's nice and secure. Okay. We're going to fit the load out wire to the last terminal. That's the terminal that is going straight to the light source. So this is what's important to note is that the day night switch actually serves as a switch. So it just breaks and switches the load to the light source essentially. In terms of the neutral, these are both neutral wires, but they will be common. What we mean by that is we're going to join them. So now we've got that joined. Okay, and we're going to fit that into the middle terminal. So that's your load in on this terminal, which comes from the light switch. This is your load out, which goes to the light source. This is your neutral which is the common shared now. We're going to flip this over. Do, let's switch it on. You see the light went off. So it doesn't want to come on, there's too much ambient light. But in order to correct that, and we're going to simulate, simulate darkness, we're going to use the box that it was supplied in. Okay, and we're going to put that over the day-night switch with the switch in the on position. It will take approximately 30 to 45 seconds 
for the relay to switch. There we are. Okay, now, just to finish off, to get the point across, is if I take the box off, back to daylight, sorry, back to daylight, the lux sensor will sense the ambient lights and switch it off in the same reverse fashion.